Hi, this is Susan with Growing Character. While distance learning has been hard for all students, it's especially challenging for our kids with ADHD. Today I'll be sharing the top seven techniques that you can start implementing today that'll help your child boost their focus, complete their assignments, and maybe, just maybe, improve their attitude towards school. The first thing to do is set up a consistent workspace with few distractions. Set up your child's desk or work area away from windows and try to have them face bare walls if possible. You can also use desk dividers to help minimize visual distractions. Declutter the workspace by only having out materials that are completely necessary for the assignment they're working on. If your child needs to color something, just have out three pencils as opposed to all the crayons and markers and color pencils that you own. The less visual distraction, the better. You can also use noise canceling headphones with kids that help block out irrelevant noise like younger siblings or barking dogs in the background. An electronic device can be distracting for a student who struggles with focus. Squirrel! Especially when it's paired with the internet. So if you can use a device that doesn't have the kids other games or activities on it, better. Pin the websites or apps your kid frequently uses to help them avoid wandering through other domains. Schedule a weekly check-in with your child and his teacher. Students with ADHD can get easily overwhelmed and then shut down emotionally when work piles up. The key to avoiding unnecessary frustration is to make sure your child stays on top of her assignments. The weekly check-in can be used to identify any work that's missing or to develop a plan to complete the assignments by the deadline. Number three, having access to frequent breaks throughout the day can help a student with ADHD mentally reset. Breaks can be really short so the student isn't missing huge chunks of instruction. They can go to the restroom, get a drink of water, take a quick walk. During independent work time, you can set a visual timer for 10 minutes and give your child time to play with a preferred toy or eat a snack before moving on to the next assignment. Print out and have hard copies of assignments whenever possible. This gives kids something tangible to reference and can be written on to draw their attention to details they may miss. Organize loose pages in a zip-up folder with easy tabs to help them locate their work. Like with any strategy, you can't just create the organizational system for your child and then run. Follow up with them weekly to help them sustain the system until they've internalized it for themselves. Oh, number five. Just like we bite our pencil while we're trying to think about our line for our YouTube video, or an answer to a math problem, or pace back and forth, our kids need movement in order to keep them focused. Use sensory strategies like wiggle cushions, ball chairs, or wobble stools to help give their bodies the input they may need. Having your kid lay on their stomach while attending a Zoom session, or using a weighted lap pad, or having them carry heavy books from one end of the room to the other between sessions may help them focus more. Number six. Utilize text-to-speech options whenever possible. Many students with ADHD have good reading fluency, but struggle with reading comprehension because of their fluctuating levels of attention. Many of the learning platforms children use for class have a text-to-speech option built in as an accessibility feature, where the program will read the text aloud for the student, which makes it easier for the kid to understand. Also, because writing can be difficult for students with ADHD as well, Ask teachers if they can record their answers orally whenever possible. And lastly, lengthy assignments can be visually overstimulating for some children with ADHD and can cause emotional breakdown. It's not fair! What you can do is break down their assignments into manageable chunks. It's not like you would sit down and devour a whole cake in one sitting, right? Uh, right. If there's a project that's due at the end of the week, Help your child map out the small tasks they need to accomplish every day to stay on track. If there are too many questions on a particular assignment, break it up into manageable chunks. If you feel like they've mastered a specific concept, ask the teacher if doing fewer problems to show mastery would be acceptable. Helping your child break down the assignments will help them sustain focus for those shorter spurts of time which will also make them feel better about the work that they've accomplished. While a lot of these suggestions seem like obvious solutions, Kids with ADHD have a hard time with executive functioning skills, making it hard for them to come up with these strategies and use them without help. The more you practice these skills with your kiddos, the more they'll eventually become part of how they function on their own. Even when remote learning is a distant memory, <sighs> these strategies can help your kid move from just surviving to thriving. All right, I'm setting the timer. You have. 
10 seconds to hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss any of our weekly videos. See you next time.